Hey everyone, Zane here and today I'm going to show you how to use WhatNot app. Now the first thing you should do is to simply sign up or log in into your account and once you log in, you should navigate on the top right corner and click on your profile picture, then click on seller hub right here. On the home page, you will find the tasks section. Here you will be reminded of things that need your attention, including pending shipments, offers on your listings, and any order cancellation or refund requests. When you go a little further down, you will see some helpful video tutorials that will guide you in all the specific functions of seller hub. Now let's explore more about the tabs on the left side. First, let's talk about the inventory tab. The inventory tab is where you can manage all your inventory across the marketplace as well as your live shows. Here you can add and delete items, move items across live shows and marketplace and edit any item details. The offers tab is where you will find bending offers on your marketplace listings. When you click on this arrow right here in the actions section, you can accept, decline or counter offer on these requests. The shows tab is where you will find all your scheduled shows and you can and schedule new shows from here too. You can also reopen your ended shows here and bring yourself back into the live view from that show. The orders tab shows you an overview of all your orders across what note. You can break your orders down by marketplace sales from individual shows or filter them by fulfillment status. The shipments tab is where you need to head post show to create your shipping labels and get your orders fulfilled. In the referrals tab, you can see how many of your referrals have converted converted into new buyers and whatnot. When a user you referred makes their first person purchase, you will see the status change from first purchase pending to completed, meaning you earn some referral credit. You will see an overview of your referral credits at the top of this tab. Lastly, I'm going to show you the analytics tab. Here you can track your performance as a seller and whatnot. This tab offers many different ways to view, compare, and track your sales metrics. In my opinion, you should routinely check in on the analytics to see what's been working well for you on your seller journey and applying those learnings to your future live shows. And that's all for today's video. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to support us with like, subscribe, comment, share. Thanks for watching and see you in a new video.